The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I don't know if there are people that are here from Chicago, but I'm told in Chicago that there's a type of hot dog that's as strafe as could be. It's called a super dog. And a super dog is supposed to be a hot dog um, with everything, including the kitchen sink. I'm only telling you from what I've heard. It's not first-hand or even second-hand. There was a fellow that was becoming religious. One of the rabbeim in Chicago was helping to make him from, and he told him to start keeping kosher. He had a start the next day, so he told his rebbe, I got to go for one last super dog tonight. My farewell super dog. Fine, get it out of your system, or in your system, I should say, and tomorrow you'll start. The fellow's in the restaurant eating his farewell super dog. I don't know all the emotion that he was going through, but I understand it was great. Somebody next to him, a well-dressed man, saw that the guy was eating a super dog like he never saw before. So he asked the man, like, you seem pretty intense. He said, yes, it's my last super dog ever. So the guy asked him why. So he didn't want to say, because tomorrow I start keeping kosher. That seems like, you know, he just didn't want to give that answer. He didn't know how the guy would view him. So instead he said, you know, I love it, it's part of my life, it's my passion, but to have one a day is very expensive, and my family's growing, I don't have that kind of money. So it's my last one ever. This man looks at this guy and says, sir, today's your lucky day. I'm the owner of this restaurant. He takes out a card that says, free super dogs for the rest of your life. (laughs) And he gives it to the man and he signs it. So here he is having his last super dog keeping kosher, and he has another billion on credit. He asked his Rebbe that night, like, what's the message? And I think the answer was brilliant. The Yetzirah just doesn't give up. So you think I'm going to outsmart the Yetzirah because tonight I'm going to have my last Superdog, but then, but then you'll be the free owner of Superdogs for the rest of your life. The man today has this hung like a plaque on his wall. He, Baruch Hashem, has never made use of it, and he started kosher the next morning. But like people would have important plaques on their wall, he has a free Superdog for life plaque. Because the Sahara doesn't give up. You see, anybody who says, that's it, we're settled, at Khan, I ain't fighting, that's the Sahara. But Nikan Ve'elech, you got to keep fighting. That's the talk of the Yetzirah Tov. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org